Happy Tuesday. This is Nick from about six acres. Welcome to Tip Tuesday. Garden is in full swing. We have uh, things growing that really, you know, are surprised it didn't, you know, it took off so well. Uh, for example, we are in our squash bed. And tip number one, if you want more blooms and more fruiting to happen, I subscribe to cutting off some of your leaves to help open up the center of the plant to more sun that promotes more fruiting, it gets those pollinators in there, and doesn't shade out your other plants like our cucumbers. So simply go in, look for leaves that are shading, take those off, and guess what? You can eat these. Chop them up, steam them, throw them in an omelet. Works great. You can also uh, basically wilt them or you know get them blanched and then roll up some uh, beef and some rice in there, almost like a stuffed cabbage roll. Very nutritious. But yeah, continue to cut out any large leaves. That well, way we can open up to those flowers, get those pollinators in. And as you can see, we have our, our zucchini here and our yellow crooked neck squash. And cutting those leaves out also um, prevents a lot of that um, powdery mildew as well, because then there's more sun that can and more air that can move through and dry those leaves off. So that is tip number one. And let's go to our tomatoes. For our tomatoes, um, you want to promote more fruiting. Look at that. We got San Marzano tomatoes for our paste. You're like, Mr. Nick, what is going on here? Well, wherever there is some fruit already, you want to cut those lower leaves off to promote some growth. And basically, when you cut those leaves off, more energy is sent to the roots and um, to get nutrients and um, more nutrients and more strength more vigor to go into fruit production. So as there's more fruit, you know, once these are picked off, then I'll work my way up and take these. And let's see if we got any that I can cut off for you and show you in the meantime. This bed looks pretty good. That's all my plum tomatoes. Let's go to my tomatoes right here. We'll test it out in this bed. So these were late transplants. Basically what I'll do is I'll snip, snip, snip all the way to the bottom. Cause we do have some flowers up here. Could even snip down there and then pinch off any of these um, branches that come out in between. As long as they don't have buds on them, you are good. And then you can take these, if you got chickens, feed them to your chickens. Put them in your compost pile or set your greens or any weeds that you pull in a five gallon bucket and fill that with water. Let it sit for a couple days and then you have a super nutrient drench that you can dilute and pour over your plants. So hope you enjoyed. Go out, get some sun, get in that garden and get dirty.